Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, we're way wetted out there. Hold on. I'm not the first one on the water, as you can see. Right there? Where is he? I can't see him. He's back there somewhere. That guy beat me out in the water today. So I actually was able to install my float switch. I don't think I filmed any of it, but yeah, it's definitely something you need to have if you're going to put a boat and leave it in the water for multiple nights. Especially if your live well lines, uh, they got a little bit of ice in them, a little bit, and they cracked a little bit, so there's definitely a leak. But uh, yeah, that guy beat me out in the water. He's running up the little Niangua. Niangua? Niangua. I still don't know how to pronounce that river. It's this one right here. But I'm actually gonna head downstream to the main river arm where there's some brush piles. Yesterday was insane. Kyler Beckman and I absolutely put on a clinic. Uh, probably the most insane day of crappie fishing I've ever been a part of. Uh, over 200 fish in a full day. And they were good sized fish. I mean, we probably caught, we probably caught at least 30 to 40 within that 13 to 15 inch range. It was, it was unbelievable. Lake of the Ozarks. Point View Resort. I mean, this this is a spot to be. I know it's February and a lot of people down south, they're like, oh, it's cold. Dude, it's 60 degrees right now. This is the time to be out in the water. They have rooms available. I'll leave a link below. But right now, I'm gonna go try to find some cropping by myself on the far southern part of this Lake of the Ozarks arm, the main Nyanga River arm. Brush piles, vertical jigging, ACC crappie sticks. Let's get to it. Oh, another cool feature of this resort. A lot of the resorts that have brush piles are a little, uh, I'll get closer to it. And let's actually see on the side imaging if there's any crappie here right now. They said usually it's like April, March, April is probably the best month uh, for them to come up this little Niangua, 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 that's how you pronounce it. Little Niangua River into the main Niangua arm but I'm gonna show you real quick here on the sonar what it looks like. So there's the brush, there's some, there's some fish on there. This is all the brush that they stacked up in the edge of the docks. There might be some fish in there. But I wanna make a farther run way down. I wanna go exploring, I like exploring. But if you want to, also, see that tree? See that tree right there? Spring time. Springtime, there's definitely gonna be some fish on that, springtime. Oh, there's some bass. There's some bass or something, catfish maybe. One thing Lake of the Ozarks is not short of is shad. Unreal. There's that dock right here. I mean, thousands upon thousands of shad just underneath that one little dock. And that's all I'm looking for right now. Here's a big ball of shad. Gigantic. Absolutely. Gigantic ball of shad. Look at that. That entire thing is all shad. Same on this side. Unbelievable. There's no shortage of, of food for these fish. Let's go by this guy's dock. I want to see it on this side just light up. Absolutely light up. Man, I'm not seeing it. That's one of his dock pilings. There's some fish right there. There are some fish underneath that, but that's definitely not what I want to see. Okay, well, bad news. That guy. I won't start. You can probably watch my Instagram stories if you follow me on there. You should be following me on Instagram. Yeah. The, uh, the st That's not good. That's not good at all. I'm like a half mile from my resort right now, so... It's not the longest troll if I have to troll back that I've ever done, but that sucks. I don't know. 
If you know anything about starting motors, I don't think this was supposed to happen when you shut the key off. You see how this is stuck up? I'm pretty sure that's supposed to drop down. That's the uh, small flywheel that turns the, the big flywheel. But I'm pretty sure that's supposed to drop down when you shut the key off. In fact, I, I'm almost positive. So, yeah, looks like I'm just trolling and fishing back. This is a lot shorter morning than I thought. Oh well. Looks like I'm trolling back. Yep. Like a half mile from my resort right now. And uh, it's not a whole lot of boats out here in February, so let's see if the old Minn Kota, that guy, can get me home. Otherwise I might be calling somebody. Uh oh. <laughs> Well, I made it back on one trolling motor battery. Gonna have to take a look at the starter. It's kind of a bummer. But I think I'm just gonna show you around the resort. This is a real bummer. Start my starting motor just I don't know. It's definitely not sitting in the right position. Good morning. Uh, this is whoa, get the lighting right here. Yeah. So this is part two of that video where my motor didn't work anymore, but I just kind of walk you around the resort today. This is actually my last day. I was going to film the end of that video, but Kyler called me up, said, hey, let's go fishing out of his boat. And we hammered him once again. That bucket of fish you just saw, yeah, absolutely amazing fishery, Lake of the Ozarks. So I'm gonna kind of walk you around the resort where I'm staying. Check out this view. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, so right outside, that is actually the night fishing dock, where, or the winter fishing dock is what they call it. You can actually fish there 24-7, and they have pallets and brush piles actually stacked up in the middle of that heated little shack. I'm actually going to go down there. Or it's, like, it's not a shack. I don't know. It's like a it's like a cabin that floats, but you can fish in the middle of it. We're gonna go down there in just a second. Uh, it's a two bedroom cabin right on the lake. Literally right on the lake. If you could open up a window, you could cast onto the lake right here. But I don't want to do that. All right, so here we are inside the fish house. There's actually, if you're not a fan of the cold weather, this is actually a heated fish house. So even if you don't have a boat, you can fish here anytime and it's heated. So even in the winter, like right now it's technically winter, even though it's 60 degrees outside. I'm in, I'm in like short long sleeves right now. They have brush piles. They have brush piles right there. And they got brush piles up front. You can fish, oh, let's go outside. Whoa, there we go, there we go. Yeah, you can fish right off the end of these docks. I even got boat gas for you, right, right there, there we go. Boat gas right there. This resort has everything you need. Right on the point, this is the little Niangua, Niangua. Dang it, I keep messing that up. It's on the little Niangua River that flows into the main Niangua arm fishing, bass fishing. There's so many bass boats. Every morning I saw so many bass boats just run upstream. I think their bass are shallower this time of year, but we were catching crappie in that 10 to 15 foot range. And I was catching crappie probably like, I don't know, 200 yards that way, down, down river towards the big arm. Um, I was gonna go out this morning, but obviously my starter motor blew up. You all saw that, but this is an awesome resort. I told myself I was gonna do this trip I want to stay at a resort that 
is family friendly, but the ones that I stayed at as a kid uh, with my parents, so this is like awesome. I kind of want to grab a pole and drop it down there. I apologize if it's really echoey in here, but I, re I really like the fish right there right now. Unfortunately, I got to get back home. Like I got a nine hour drive, so I got to get my boat out. Oh yeah, there's a boat launch here too. That's a really zoomed in. Sorry about that. Yeah, there's a boat launch here. You can launch your boat. It's right, right there. Right there, there's a boat launch. Let's go show you the main docks and uh, get my gear packed up and get out of here. All right, we're going on the docks right now. Yeah, there's a there's a playground. It's definitely a family friendly resort. But here's some. They have two large, large covered docks for all your boats. They fit. They fit some big boats. My boat's an 18 footer, and you could easily fit like a 26 foot boat in these slots. A really wide one too. Whoa. There we go. Keep jumping in and out of shadows. There she is. The boat that's been causing me problems, or the motor at least. You buddy, you've been causing me problems. Let's see if there's any water in there. Oh yeah. I definitely need to uh, change out the live well hoses. They got ice in them and they cracked and now I got leaks. Yeah, right there. And so the last thing I wanted to point out, if the uh, fishing dock is full, you can always come out to the end of, the, of these uh, boating docks because they have brush piles, right? Where are they? Here we go. <coughs> they got brush piles right here. This is about 15, 18 feet of water. So plenty deep for crappie. And uh, oh, they got a swim ladder off the end of the dock if you want to go swimming in, in the beach area. They actually have two beach areas. That's pretty much it. Thank you Point View Resort for letting me stay here this weekend. I had an absolute blast. I mean, besides, I'm, obviously a couple things went wrong, but not your fault. Uh, oh, dang starting motors, right? Dang starting motors. But anyway, thank you Point View Resort for letting me stay here. I appreciate it. It was an absolute blast. Uh, caught 600 plus fish this weekend. You should check them out. I'm going to leave a link below. Um, they have February and March dates still opened up. April and May are filling up quick. So if you want to get here or get a reservation, you probably should click that link. Go ahead, book a reservation. Be sure to like and share this video and comment below your best memory from a resort vacation. I would love to hear those stories. Please post those in the comment section below. As always, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. You gotta click that bell to get notified every time I post a video. All right, we'll see ya.